Hey everybody, so this uh, part might be a bit, uh, so I say smaller again, because instead of doing the Eagle Flies mission, I decided I'm going to try out the, uh, what's it, what's it called, the letter, get the letter from Mary. So I think this is like the third letter you get from it. So let's go see what it says, and if there's a mission afterwards, let's go do it. I'm getting to the point of the part of the game now where I just like can't remember a lot of the stuff that happens, which is nice. Like I remember like stuff like the riverboat and whatever, but all the little things like this one I can't really recall. Oh, here it is. My dear Arthur. I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment? Life is very confusing, and I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in Saint Denis. Oh, Arthur, I know it is wrong to ask you, but... I have nobody else, and for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so, yours, Mary. Grand. All right, let's go and help Mary then. Oh, so that's the second letter. I thought it was the third. No, I've only helped her once, haven't I? Yeah, helped her in roads. Not roads. Was the first time I gone? Valentine. Yeah, helped her in Valentine. That's the only problem with taking like little uh, sort of breaks from this is like uh, uh, <laughs> I'm sort of just like, what? What was the last part? What was the name of that town? What was the name of this place? Uh, what does Dutch want? Country pursuits. All right, down here. Set. Headset's a bit weird. There you go. Well, that's fine. All right. Okay, let's do this. I'll do. The, I'll help Mary after I finish this mission. I think this takes me to Saint Denis anyway. So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. Oh, what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. Yep. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur, if it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. 
You better be right about this one. I am. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. A man about a boat. A boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Grave. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See? I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Okay, follow me. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Hosea's lost his spine. This move on Bronte, is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really going to work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but... But, 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 when did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Just feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Triscoll's found us. Yeah, we need to move, and soon. Haven't I made that clear? I feel like I'm going in circles with all of you. Micah is the only one left with any loyalty. Now, that ain't fair. You are talking like John. I swear that woman is poisoning him against me. I've seen it before. What's the problem here? There ain't a problem. You think Micah would question going after Bronte? No. He'd say, let's go. I'm here, ain't I? I've been at your side for 20 years. I know. I... I... I'm sorry, son. It's just the endless debate about everything is wearing me down. The others, I can take. But when you're not behind me, it hurts. I'm behind. Blackwater, Valentine, Rhodes, Sean, Kieran. I promise none of it will be in vain. We are going to make it. I know we will. Here we are. Let me do the talking. Sure thing, Dutch. Whoa. You do all the talking. Yeah, crazy bastard. Thomas. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. 
The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend. Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you're bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find him. Yeah, if we can find them. Them's be crocodiles in them Mind their waters. Alligators, uncommon number, big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas, more of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, do you say so, Mr. Dutch? This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Dutch, you keep a lookout for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. Looks empty this to me. This empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunton? Oh, he's much more the kind of rep... Tile I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. You can see why even in swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folk sometimes. The night folk? Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wider than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Okay, so there are what, alligators and crazy people who come out in the swamp at night. He hasn't said why. I dread to think. But yeah, this is great. Whoa. Stop where you are. It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. All right, let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find him. Yeah, if that was me in the fucking swamp, and I saw an alligator just go past, I'd be like, nope, fuck this. Jules can find his own way back to shore. Yeah, I did think this is the mission where you actually do go after Angelo Bronte. I forgot there's like a build up to it. Something didn't want That's to not be good. Caught. My God. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was. No, but only some huge could do this. Oh. Fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. All right, 
I suppose this can wait. Let's go. Yep, there's three men out in the swamp. Hold up. Uh, there's another bloody alligator. Oh, look. Three. Maybe a fourth one back there, I can't tell. Yeah, just what you want to see. My God, there's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Exactly. That oh. did not answer the question in any way, shape or form. Just wanted to say. I mean, I don't quite think this guy really grasps the now. severity <laughs> of being out here. So we can search both sides. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the yeah, right. Fight. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. God, he can more or less swim in this. It'll be quicker. I'm coming, Jules. Oh, oh. is that him? him? Hey, you in the tree? What are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Master, it nearly ate me. Hey, where'd he go? It's it's out there. What? A big gator, biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. Okay, I'll get the boat. You stay up the tree. Okay. Yeah. And uh, where'd this monster swim off to? I got the scarf. It's over here. Stop. Got it loose. Jump. Good man. All right, let's get back to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Thank God. Fellas, Thomas. Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules, we are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was gonna be out here all night. What was you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry. Ooh. Now, boy, I think we hit a tree stone. Yeah, I thought we cleared. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> you'll see any giant monster <laughs> long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple cracked gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. Come on, put your back into it. Yep, I guess I will.
Alright, quit your screaming and your bloody complaining. I'm coming for you. Just don't die. No, one thing. One thing to do. And he died. Bastard. Jules! Ah, oh, there he is. I'm coming! I got you, son. I got you! Oh, God, no. Dutch! Shoot something! Has he got. Oh, okay, his leg's been mangled, but it's all well. That's fine. He's not missing a leg just yet. Fire off a couple of warning shots just to pretend you care. I got you covered. Bring as you can. Come on. Hurry. Hurry. Give me the boy. God, this is slow. It's slow, but the music is like very fast-paced. Tense. <laughs> but do it like I'm, I'm basically walking. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. There's blood in the water, goddammit. Too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I've stopped the bleeding. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. The fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Put every bullet you got in him. How is this thing surviving so many bullets that I presume will be the head? Shit! Okay, kid. Oh. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. <laughs> Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. <laughs> Can we get some help? Uh, Jules has been bitten. Uh, oh my god. There's a monster out here. Uh, he's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, Just keep him warm. Uh, Feed him garlic for the infection. Uh, thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. He's a bad man. I know. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. You got monsters out here. <sighs> well. Yeah, no shit. Okay, you go back to the horse and, uh... Okay, get rid of that. Yeah, go back to the horse and then go back to Saint Denis. Maybe.
Ah, there we go. That's the one I wanted. Oh, what's this? Brother Dawkins or Marilyn? Yeah, let's go and see Mary. Yeah, I'll go see Mary and then I will go and, well, that'll be, that'll be it for this part and then in the next part I'll be going to go and see uh, Eagle Flies and see what I can do there. God, this game does look great, doesn't it? Like even the different biomes, like different sort of areas you go to just looks it just look amazing. Like this place at night looks like breathtaking on the PS4. This is arguably one of if not the best looking game on PS4, I feel. Uh, if not like the biggest and best. for me I've come uh, oh Arthur what's wrong daddy your father I'm a bigger fool than I even thought I, I'm begging you Arthur I know daddy was not kind to you but but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than than, than me than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Yeah, why not? Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know, sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. 
Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I always like to... So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. Yeah, I usually like to try and play Arthur as a sort of uh, reluctant nice guy. Not, a, not reluctant. It's sort of like he puts on that sort of front. Uh, but he also likes to help people. That's the sort of way I like to play him, at least. I mean, that's kind of interesting, though, about this game, in that you can really kind of decide how you want to play as the character, like how you want to like, think, how you think about him, etc. This is the place. Like you can help people, you can choose not to help people, and that sort of changes how he is perceived by others and himself. So. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Apology accepted. Oh, wait right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired and I have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur, he's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. I'll just walk really menacingly with a. I mean, that's a walk with a purpose right there, the one Arthur's doing now. Look at it. This the way. The jacket sort of flying left and right as he goes. How is he to spot anything? Look at the way he's walking. It's a miracle he's still standing upright. Oh, wait. Is he gonna turn around? Hold on. No, he's you can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. Nope, throwing up. There you go. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. Come here, huh. quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing, insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. 
I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was That's mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not even his to sell. Oh, it's like just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself you killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. You <laughs> sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. He's like, yeah, yeah. He'll probably kill someone. Oh. Hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there. Why the hell did he run? Yep. Hey! Stop that coach! Get back here! Yeah, I'm thinking ahead. So that, that horse is you my horse is coming with me. Just in case coach. this one buckles after you know not buckles, but you know, bucks. Uh after I you know, the cutscene, after I get these guys. Cause that's the last thing I want is to be trapped out in the you swamp right without a horse, having to come back to Mary. Come on, I'm almost there. How close do I have to be to this guy? to a secluded area. Gillis is to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Here. Yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody for this. Yep, run along. <laughs> hey there, girl. Ah, cool. That's yeah, that's 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 cool. 
this little sort of like jumping out cutscene going back, yeah. Again? Not really. Well, let's take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. I uh, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey. What are you doing now, right this moment? Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh, um, yeah, only for like two minutes. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? <laughs> It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on <laughs> You and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but... <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well... That's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. Lynn. <laughs> well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of beautiful, in a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> You silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. Time to see a good old-fashioned show. The greatest assembler of the entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just as start the proprietor not. Are you of the in a rush, greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire. Snakes and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss. Robin Koninsky! Okay. okay. On a scale of 1 to 10, how good is this going to be? Thank you for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called... Sam Dunne. Across by 
by a swamp and oh, over that's the sea. Good. We're heading down to San Denis. If your wagon is broke, get to the blacksmith shop. Don't worry yourself with planting a crop. The girls are wearing a brand new gown. We're heading to the San Denis town. Copper bag is coal miners and mountain folk. Hey, Loose come on, let's get out of here. And let oh. that go. Okay. Pretty sure. If you want. Say, Reckon we've seen the best of it. Yep, pretty much. <sighs> <laughs> All right, you better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but shame we couldn't stay longer. Sorry. <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. Anything I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money, and I had some, but then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Yeah. Surely they could have. They could have sent Kieran back, couldn't they? Like he's not wanted. You think they would have just done that? For the time Kieran was actually, you know, with them. Just send them back send him back into Blackwater and you're pretty much laughing, right? Okay, what's the next one? Ah, uh, Dutch. Revenge is a dish best eaten. Alright, so that's the one I was thinking of earlier. Um, that's basically the one you go after Angelo Bronte, so I might do that in the next part. And then after that, go and do the Eagle Flies mission. Right, well, thank you all for watching. It means a lot. Hope you've all enjoyed, and I look forward to seeing you in the next part. If you could leave a like, a comment, and subscribe as well, that would be great. For now, though, that's pretty much it. So until the next time, do look after yourself and do take care. Ta-da!